What is going on guys? Grave here today and I talk about the Jester's Festival in-game event which begins on March the 28th and runs until April the 4th. Of course, during this event you can complete the introductory quest if you are new to the game. If not, of course you will not have to do that again if you've done it in a previous year. But doing this will earn you the Tasty Pie Memento which can be located in your memento section of your collections. However, unlike previous years, you will no longer need to obtain or use that pie to take advantage of the 100% XP buff. This bonus will now be shared passively to all adventurers participating in Tamriel's Wackiest Holiday. That said, it doesn't make the pie any less scrumptious. So unlike previous years where every two hours you had to you know, consume the pie, get the memento out, and use it to get that 100% XP buff during the event, that is not something you will need to do anymore. Uh, that will be done passively now if you participate in the event. And in my opinion, that's pretty uh, a good idea. That way everyone doesn't have to you know, keep up with the mementos if they are new to the game. But at the same time, I kind of feel like the mementos were something that was part of these events. So it's kind of interesting, in my opinion, that they decided to go with a passive buff instead of using the pie to actually receive your XP buff. But you will get that 100% XP buff during the event so make sure that you're taking advantage of that if you're ranking up a character that you already have or starting a new character throughout the jester's festival you can pick up various event specific daily quest for each one you complete you will receive a jester's festival box but the first jester's festival daily quest you complete you will get a stupendous jester's festival box each of these boxes can include things like festive dazzlers cherry blossom confetti revelry pies festive furnishings Jester Festival provisioning recipes, treasures that can be sold to vendors for gold, previous year style pages, one of the following, a random unbound page for either the broom or bucket styles, the regal, regella, or second seed style pages, a fragment from the previous Jester's collectibles like uh, Caldwell Surprise Box Memento, the Sopet, or the Playful Prankster Surprise Box Memento, including or in addition to those rewards, the stupendous Jester's Festival box that you get once a day once you complete that first quest has a chance to contain one of the following goodies. The new Jester's Seeker Suit Outfit Style Page, the Jester's Rune Box, the Cherry Blossom Blanc, uh, Branch Rune, blo uh, Rune Box, the Caldwell's Kitchen Weapon Style Page, High Value Treasures, the Festive Noisemaker Parts, or the Joke Popper Fragments. During this event, of course, the event vendor will be here and you can uh, gain those event tickets as well. You can get three event tickets for the first Jester's Festival quest you complete each day. And if you're, uh, you're, you're going to participate in the festivities every day, you can earn up to 24 total tickets. Just be sure that you use those tickets before you get to 12 because the ticket count is still being capped at 12. So make sure you regularly spend those and don't waste any of your currency. Uh, during the event, the event vendor will have all three Molog Ball Illusion Imp Pet Fragments, all three fragments from the Master's Body and Face Markings, and Bound Fragments for the new Jester's Costume. The third and final fragment of the uh, Master Body and Face Marking and the Seething Sensor arrives during this period, and this is a great time to grab it, along with the other fragments if you need to finish uh, the set. Also, in addition to the above items, you will get the Endric vendor as well with you know all the Endric feathers and berries. And the assistant will also have the following items to purchase within this event. The Morpholite pet fragments and the Doom Char pl uh, Plateau house fragments. Of course, guys, that is everything for the Jester's Festival. This is one of uh, probably one of the biggest events of the year. A lot of people love the celebration event and the Jester's Festival event in the spring and the Elder Scrolls Online. So make sure that you're hopping in and taking part in this event and gaining that XP and some of the cool rewards. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.